your phone why you not hitting me back please just pick up hey y'all it's meg and welcome back to my channel today i am very excited because i am going to be uh, doing a little Valentine's Day outfit inspiration lookbook. I haven't done this before. I tried to do one in the fall and I hated how it turned out, but I'm really excited about these outfits and hopefully they will give you some good inspiration for a Galentine's celebration, Valentine's Day, date night, whatever. I had a lot of fun doing it and I hope that you'll enjoy it. Obviously coming at it from a plus size perspective, um, just to kind of give you a frame of reference, I am a 26, 28 in most places or a 4X or 5X in most places. And I am going to give all the sources and everything for the outfits um, as well. So yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me which outfit was your favorite and let's get into it. Okay, so the first outfit I'm kind of describing as Valentine's Day in the city slash Parisian version. <laughs> I don't know if these all need to have titles or not, but that's what we're going with. I really, really, really am obsessed with this brown leather mini skirt that I got from Eloquy. It is still available, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I wore this over the winter as well, a very similar look with the black turtleneck and the pantyhose that had black polka dots. But for Valentine's Day, I changed it up and I wore my black pantyhose with the real, little red heart polka dots. Um, those are from Snag Tights. I love snag tights. I have worn them for years. They go, um, they are super size inclusive. I think they go up to like 32, 34, like beyond. And they have an incredible selection of not only pantyhose, but like fishnets, um, actual tights, wool tights. They have a lot of options and they're also branching out into clothing, I think, which I haven't tried any of their clothing, but tights, I always recommend. They're like an easy, an easy endorsement. They're super great. And I have had some of their tights for quite a while, including these heart ones I've had for several years. Other than that, I just paired it with a uh, black ballet flats and a beret that I got on Amazon. And actually the turtleneck was also from Amazon, but a simple black turtleneck would totally fit the bill. The key to this outfit I think are the tights and the leather skirt, which just makes it feel like extra chic. Okay, outfit number two is gonna be my little retro sock hop Valentine's Day outfit. The perfect Valentine's Day sweater is this heart sweater. Again, from Eloquy. I bought it last year, they are selling it again this year, and it has the hearts on the elbows. It's just too precious. So I paired it with my red mini skirt, which I actually made myself, but um, any like red, I think solid skirt would do because this is really the punch. So I wanted to keep the skirt simple. And then I paired it with white tennis shoes that I got from Old Navy, just like a great basic tennis shoe, I think is really cute. And then I had the little glasses. I also think that like um, knee highs or kind of like a thick white chunky sock would also be cute and kind of have that like retro vibe but I didn't have those I am not really a sock person but that would be a good idea if you try and replicate a similar outfit okay outfit number three cool girl galentine's outfit I love it I love it and I'm so sad to report that the jacket the like silk members only jacket that says girls club on the back is from a brand that is discontinued. I don't know if you are plus size, if you had ever shopped this brand called Prem, um, that is the logo Prem. They were around for a few years before I even moved to New England. So it had to be like in the 2010s and um, they had some really awesome stuff and it went up to like a 32 or 34 and then they decided not to make it anymore. But I still have this jacket. Um, I really, I really wear it around like Valentine's and Christmas because it is so red, but it is super adorable. Um, but this is really just going over like a basic white or off white bodysuit. This is from Old Navy, so what I'm wearing now. And then my jeans from Torrid, um, again, using the white tennis shoes. And of course, the little heart sunnies. These are from Target. Um, super adorable and I feel like it just creates kind of this like relaxed chill brunch outfit day out outfit um, 
Obviously with the girls club on the back, it's great for brunch with the girls. I think it is super, super cute. Also just like a red sweater or like a members only jacket style would be a similar vibe without being this one specifically, but just like, I wanna be a part of that gang. <laughs> okay, last outfit, date night outfit, Valentine's date night outfit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is out of my comfort zone. I am happy with how it looks. Um, this dress is from a brand called Reb Dolls. They go up to 5X. The dress itself is like a jersey kind of ribbed knit material. So there's lots of stretch. Um, it's very comfortable. Um, but the key to me is just like that high neckline and the open back. Oh, I feel like it is just, even though the fabric of the dress is very like relaxed, that silhouette feels fancy. Um, they have similar dresses. The one that I bought is on sale. I will link it below. If they don't have your size, they have a few similar black dresses with like higher necklines, similar silhouettes that would be like in almost like in, uh, what am I thinking of? indistinguishable be like an indistinguishable dupe like you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference um I paired it with these heels from Torrid I do not wear heels I'm a staunch anti-heel person but this if you can see without the crisscross the actual like incline of this heel is next to nothing like it's almost you're barely on like your toes so uh, because of the platform here. These are incredibly comfortable. Um, I they, There was a breaking in process. I still need to like scuff up the bottom a little bit more uh, to make them not as slippery, but they're very comfortable. And if you have chunkier ankles like I do, um, this has a completely adjustable strap. Like it's not a buckle or anything. Like you can adjust this to whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm trying to like get it. Yeah, so I just open it up real wide, put my foot in and then tighten it around and tie in a bow in the back. But these are incredibly comfortable. Um, and I have a nude version as well. The nude version does not have the straps like this. It has a regular buckle, but I'm about to buy those as well because I feel like having a heel, if I become a heel person in a nude in a black is gonna like cover all the bases. The other thing that really elevates this look and makes it a really beautiful date night look are these earrings how beautiful now this i don't feel like is this is like a pretty common earring style now this like dangly ribbon or bow situation i got these at joann's on after christmas clearance for like two bucks or something um but dang just all the shimmer and i feel like with that dress and having my hair up and the high neckline like it really makes the earrings just like pop oh love it i love it so much um i will tell you i'm not wearing any sort of shapewear or anything underneath that dress um mostly because of the open back and i don't have any shapewear so it's something that i might like i might consider like a shaper like bottom um for an actual date night but i'm not wearing anything under that dress i feel like you could smooth it out a little bit more if you are sub uh like self-conscious about your tummy or your back or anything like that. But with the neckline being the way it is, I hate strapless bras. I don't feel like they really work for me. I have in the past for some formal events done like taping where I've just like taped my chest up um, with like gaffer tape or body tape, which <sighs> the sacrifices we make y'all. Um, when you just have a bigger chest, like a lot of those strapless solutions just aren't made for you, but you do what you have to do. And honestly, like, I don't, I don't mind my natural body shape. So I wish like things sat a little bit higher sometimes, but in this dress, I really feel like with the neckline and the shoes and the whole vibe, I don't mind it, but it's your personal preference. Of course, whatever you feel like is going to be the most comfortable for you and make you feel the best. Okay, last thing. <laughs> I am by no means a makeup girly. I have about one look that I have managed to learn that I feel looks best on me. And that is about it. All of my makeup fits in one bag. But for Valentine's Day, a red lip is quintessential slash essential. 
all of these outfits. I'm wearing the same lip color, but I feel like it really makes it pop. And I used to, this is a funny story because I still feel silly even like saying it, but when I was younger, I used to think that it just would not be okay for me to wear lipstick because I couldn't pull it off and people would be like, who does she think she is? I had so much fear around lipstick. Um, and then I started wearing it because I went to a conference. I went to a, a flower conference a while back and the woman who ran the conference said that she always wore lipstick so that people all the way across the room could see her smiling at them because it makes your mouth stand out. And I was like, that's freaking genius, Kelly. And like, it makes such a difference. And then I started wearing lipstick and now I am a huge lipstick advocate. I love it. I feel like even in an everyday look, it pulls you together. It makes you just, I don't know. I feel like it's magnetic. I feel like good lipstick like draws people to you and it does make your smile pop. Um, so I wanted to share two reds that I am like really a big fan of. The one I am wearing now is this Revlon Ultra HD matte, matte lip color. Um, the shade is 660 Romance. Okay. Um, <laughs> I really like the color. It is very matte. I will say, I don't think this is as long lasting as the other one I'm going to show you. Um, and I do feel like there is some transfer, like it does transfer. It's not really like a kiss proof red lip. Um, but for what I'm doing for photos for day to day, going to work, whatever, it's pretty good and it's not drying so I can reapply it without feeling like I'm caking product on top. The long lasting one that I'll show you and um, that I really like is the, what brand is this? Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color. It has two sides so you have the color which does dry and is a lot less transfer A lot less likely to transfer. I'm too tired to think of the words. Uh, but the other side has like a clear balm that you can put over it. Um, I have used this brand for a really long time. I have it in a couple other colors and uh, it's just like a go-to for me because it does last for a while and even though it does like sit on your lips and have like it, it dries out to where it doesn't feel like a balm or a gloss or there's less transfer um yeah I feel like I can get away with less product like I don't have to reapply it as often as I would have to reapply this so either way um I don't know the color on this one is eternal cherry if you're curious so these are the two reds that I have like in my back pocket in my arsenal I again I just can't endorse a red lip enough if you are shy about lipstick or unsure just try it out. Just buy one and try it out. What's the worst that could happen is you don't like it and like you wasted $7, which I mean, it's not nothing, but if you're curious, try it. You won't regret it. I feel like it just pow, like it just makes you feel invincible. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know. Um, I, I, when it comes to fashion, I have like the never ending desire to have a uniform and wear the same thing every single day because it's easy and I don't have to think about it and contrasting desire to be a little bit of a fashion girly and like have a distinctive style and, and be a cool girl. So how I reconcile that in my brain is to create capsule wardrobes. I did it for fall. I did it for Christmas and it kind of bridges that gap because I do have options, but they're limited options, but they all go together and they create a lot of different looks. So I'm trying to do more capsule wardrobe kind of stuff. If you're interested in that or plus size fashion or anything like that, let me know, hit like, hit subscribe. I hope that all your Valentine's Day plans are full of love and I'm sure I'll have another Valentine's video coming up soon where I do like touches around my house or something, but whatever. And <laughs> if you want more day in the life behind the scenes fun stuff, you can follow me over on Instagram at Meg is pretty cool or on TikTok as well. And I'll just see you in the next video. Bye. Not a love song, not another love song, not a love song, not another love song.